Here comes Jackie's Warrior up the inside to take over the lead from Life is Good. And Jackie's Warrior remains undefeated here at Saratoga, and he wins an unprecedented grade one stakes at the spa for the third straight season. Tracking trips from past the wire and the pick six king, John Stetton. As your handicapping partner, John is your second set of eyes on the past performances, replays, numbers, trips, and more, helping you find the angles and plays others miss. Each week, you get expert analysis, smarter ways to press your opinions, and the keys to cashing bigger tickets. Tracking trips from past the wire. Give yourself an edge and partner with a pro. Get a second set of trained, experienced eyes. Join today. Membership has its benefits. Well, hello there. We are just uh, one week now, actually, from almost one week from the Breeders' Cup. Uh, what a Breeders' Cup that was. You have to admit, it was very exciting both days. It was great um, on our show. We'll recap just a little bit here on my show. I did Friday's uh, pick five and everything. We didn't do so well. Uh, we did hit three, but um, had to hold our own a little bit. But uh, we struggled a little bit on Friday. Now, Saturday, of those who have... Uh, contacted me through my email and everything knows that we did okay on uh, Saturday. We did much better. We didn't quite, we didn't hit a pick five, but uh, we picked up some tries. We picked up some exactus. We had some nice win bets and I even played, we even had one super. So uh, we did pretty well on Saturday. Uh, got all what we did lose or got better than what we did on Friday. So those who email me was, um, they got that from me. Now, Let's go back and see if the horses, what they did. Uh, we have to first say Torpedo Anna, right? Hall of, I mean, this is going to be the horse of the year, uh, the way she's done this all year long. And then, of course, Sierra Leone, all right? Um, we had to do a gun to our head, you know, it was about 14 days out before the uh, Breeders' Cup, and I chose Sierra Leone. I think he was the best horse pretty much all year, even though, he did lose a couple of races by a nose and the neck and stuff. It did show up on this race, and um, he might win the three-year-old of the year. Um, but like I said, uh, hats off to definitely Torpedo Anna. And there was a couple of um, probably unfortunate losers out there. Um, Cinderella's Dream. I mean, I think she was the best horse that lost. Um, unfortunately, she had some problems. She should have done much better than that. She did finish second, but, you know, that's the way it is. It's in horse racing. These things happen. Um, I think overall, all the races uh, did very well. All the jockeys, I didn't see much of anything that was majorly somebody did something wrong. So hats off to everybody at the Breeders' Cup. It was it was pulled off really well. And now we're going to try to get some of our, uh, some more money. We have in that Breeders' Cup blues now. Um, withdrawals, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to head off to my own state here, Kentucky Downs, uh, not to Kentucky Downs, Churchill Downs, excuse me. Um, and we're going to try to see what we could do there. We're going to see if we could hit a pick five there. Uh, remember that track is always uh, different. You got to like the track a little bit. You got to run over that track before. And, um, <clears throat> and if it does rain, remember, always keep this in mind about Churchill. If it rains and the sun comes out, that track dries up very quickly, okay? There's something about that track, the way they, the dirt itself, maybe the way it's laid out, it just dries up extremely fast. So you might not see it this weekend, but if you do see it in the upcoming uh, shows or during the next week or whatever and you're playing that, remember that. It does dry out pretty fast, okay? So now we're going to go and... Um, we're going to tackle our first um, stakes race. There's two of them, uh, the eighth race and the 10th. Uh, um, 
and we're going to just hit those. Okay, so here we go. Race number eight. We got uh, six furlongs. This is for three-year-olds and up. On the dirt, we got the one horse here. Um, look, this horse has got some serious talent here. Look, at this horse sits second all the way around every time. It's got some early speed, pressure horse, early speed type of horse. Luis Saez, last time out, just lost three quarters of a length. They were going five furlongs. They are going six today. L Lasix does come off. So let's go back and just find a couple of races with the D Lasix. It was all maiden, so we don't have much to go off of. Horse has been doing very good with Lasix. So the question is, can this horse do without Lasix? Well, Beckman, the trainer here, this, this trainer is going to be, I think, this time next year, we're going to be talking a lot about this trainer. He's going to be uh, the up, not upcoming. He's been around for a while. He's been assistant. He's really good. Uh, but I think he's going to uh, start firing here. Excellent trainer. He gets them right where they belong every time. So I think this horse could be very dangerous in this race. Um, you know, is this horse considered for a win? I think it actually considered for a win. This horse could do a little upset here. That last race tells me this horse is ready. Now, the big question, the only question I do have is the LASIK thing. Um, <clears throat> Luis Saez stays aboard, but look at this, 20 to 1. Now, now that kind of opens up your eye a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, early pace, this horse does an, a, an 87. Mid pace, 85. And last part is 77. The horse does have to pick it up just a little bit, but the last race is telling me this horse is heading in the right direction. With Luis Saez, this is a major, major, major player, and this horse could jump up and win this race. The two horses definitely got speed, but remember we're in a, we're in a sprint here, six furlong. We're going to see a lot of speed overall in this race. Um, this horse has got tons of it now. There's another horse that's coming off Lasix. All I see is nothing but Lasix. There's another question about Lasix again. Um, can they run without Lasix? <clears throat> Some horses just can't. Uh, this horse is projected ratings of 93, 96, 118. Projected to be faster than the number one horse. I think this horse is, is a major player, but I think this one's going to be one of them that's going to go out in front a little bit more than the actual one. I think the one will might sit off, even though he's on the rail, he might sit there second and let this one go a little bit. Um, it's going to be really a strange race to really predict how it's going to come because got all the speed in here. Four to one, pressure horse type, uh, speed horse type. So this horse is um, kind of moving up in class a little bit. Is it a major player? I think it's a player. I'm going to say more for the exactus and trifectus um type of plays uh, so but i wouldn't discount this horse you know coming up and winning this race i wouldn't 100 no the three um mike smith uh flies in to ride this horse for safi everyone knows about safi great trainer um from florida this horse last time i was in a grade two ran very good nothing you know wrong with that um Finished second, going six furlongs. The time before that went seven furlongs, probably a little bit too far for this horse. Every time he runs seven furlongs, not quite good race. <clears throat> Usually this horse needs about six, maybe six and a half. Um, yeah, because every time, well, this one seven uh, furlongs way back on July of 22 did run okay, but we're talking pretty far back. Uh, we got to look at them more today. She's, uh, she's five years old. <clears throat> and she she's used to running without Lasix half the time. So this is this a player? Major, major player. Uh, Mike Smith flying in, early pace. I think this horse could even rate. Um, the, even though their projected pace are, um, is a 102, 95, and 90, uh, the 1, 2, and 3 are really going to be flying. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's going to be really flying here. So... With Mike Smith flying in to ride this horse, I think that gives it a little bit extra edge for this horse. Um, he's ridden her uh, the last four times, has done extremely well with her. 
Do I think she's a major player? 100% a major player for that win column. Do not turn your back on her, even though she's the nine to five favorite. Just, I mean, she could win for fun. She could barely win because the one and the two are very, you know, tight there. But there's even another horse in here I think is very, uh, has a heck of a shot. Now, the four. Uh, this more this horse really to me is more of a pace horse. Um, I don't know if this horse has enough speed right now to keep up. Um, it will stay pretty close overall, but maybe fourth, but I don't know, maybe fifth at best. But the, how many lengths behind is the question. I think um, this horse is going to have to pick it up a little bit. 20 to 1. Um, that's pretty much what I see. Last time out, this horse ran even the time before I, that. Had a little, showed a little speed, but then caved in at the end. Time for that, she ran, come from behind slightly, which I think, if anything, she's going to have to do in this race is going to be the kind of like that type of race. Um, blink, uh, Lasix um, are off. She's run on Lasix every time. So um, that's another question for this horse, too. The five. <clears throat> um, this horse, the five here, we have a horse here that um, – got some good pace early speed type of racing there's another one that could sit on the pace take the lead you know there's tons of this in here um if they're smart i think they would sit off the pace a little bit and see what happens up front but then i would say that to about four or five other horses too that i just finished talking about they're gonna have to do that who's gonna go to the front is the main question this horse is used with lasix off no problem there Race Lens angle is horse one. And la uh, last race has the favorite. That's a great angle. Pratt was aboard. Now you got Florent aboard. No big deal. Um, you're not losing anything there, in my opinion. Uh, this horse is cutting, uh, well, is cutting back in distance. Uh, the time before was a mile. Then she cut back to a six and a half, which was perfect for her. Um, will six furlong be a little too short? Mm, who knows? Let's see how she breaks. But I think for her best shot, she's going to have to sit there about fourth or fifth, a third and try to make one run and make sure she stays pretty close to the leaders also. Uh, the trainer gets 57 plus 57% ROI in the last 30 days. So you got to love that. So there's some good angles here on this horse. I think this horse is a player. I don't know about major, uh, but I would definitely say for exactness and tries, 100% a player in this race. The six, um, this horse, last time out on the turf, actually last three times been on turf. You're going from turf to dirt. Uh, Steve gets uh, nine, well, was it 19%? No, 16%, excuse me. 16% going from turf to dirt. That's pretty good. Um, his uh, last 30 days, he gets he's getting 19% wins. Um, turf to dirt, the horse is going to have to pick it up a little bit. Um, I just don't know if this horse has the right speed to keep up. Um, like I said, the one is kind of in the same boat with this horse. They're probably both very similar, but the one stuck on the rail. So the one pretty much has no choice but to just go out there with those other leaders. And I think that might even help that horse uh, to do that. Um, and plus that last race for that horse. But this race, this horse the last time out did not do well. Pretty much ran even. Um you got six, three lengths back, and then ended up ninth, four lengths back. So it's about as even as you're going to get as close. Um, this horse is an uh, angle. See, the negative second uh, second start after a layoff was out of the money. See, that's not very good. I do have to agree with that. Um, did run well, like I said, at Kentucky Downs. But my saying, you can hear it every time from me, if you're within three lengths of the winner or you are the winner of that any Kentucky Downs race, your next race is not good. And she, sure enough, doing ninth, doing ninth and four lengths back. So this horse is going to have to pick it up a little bit for my liking. The seven, last time out, was not good at all. The time before that was not good at all. But the time before that was actually, you know, Kentucky Downs. So the horse definitely did not like that track. Um they are switching jockeys to see if they could wake up this horse a little bit. Um, this horse can close a little bit, 
does have some early speed too. I think the only way this horse is going to do anything is come from behind. I'm um, going to have to time it just right. <clears throat> and um, they're going to have to, this horse is going to have to pick it up. That's all I have to say. So it's going to be a perfect time race and everything like that. For me on the seven, I'm just going to take a seat and sit back and watch this. The eight, another one with speed, but it's more on the outside of the other speed. Um, so this one has to break good, has no choice, or it's going to be done. Um, in my opinion, I just don't know if this horse could do it from that, that post with other speed inside that is just as fast. This horse runs a 91, 91, 66. Taking off the uh, LA6, the only time we could see is her the maiden race that she ran, and she didn't do well. So another question mark here for us. Uh, negative layoff up to up to five or more points of uh, class ratings is, you know, success score is only 2.5. This horse has been off for a while. Workouts. Let's see, the uh, first and then the 24th. And then the 11th. Uh, the price spread out a little bit too much for my liking. But not too bad overall. I mean, I like to see them a little tighter, more like six days apart, seven days apart. So um, I'm just this is not for my money today. And we'll just see. The nine. Another horse that um, did not do well in the last couple of races, but they were on turf and uh, on an off track. The time before that, though, six furlongs on a muddy track didn't do well. So the horses doesn't like the off going. It's obvious. The horse has been in the money three times out of five at uh, Churchill Downs. So that's a good sign. Uh, but other than that, this horse is going to have to pick it up. Another wants to be speed and needs to be the front. I just don't see it happening from that outside post. Um, so good luck to her on that. I just don't see it happening at all. So now let's see what uh, Race Lens has of what they're projecting, how they're projecting it to go in that race. And here we are. All right. First of all, let's. Uh, I'm trying, I'm checking out, I'm trying a couple of different new variables for uh, Churchill Downs. Here's my new variable right now. I got um, fours for the speed, class, form, and distance. I got fours. Uh, jockey and uh, jockey trainer, I got uh, threes. Now pace, I'm putting at a five. I'm doing trainer at a four, track at a five, angles at a three, and then, of course, track condition at a four. That's what I'm applying to this setting for Churchill Downs. Um, I had a different one a couple months ago, and I'm going to try something different here. I'm working this one out, and I'll see how it's going. But what is this one doing to me right now? She, This thing is just thinking too much. Hmm. Well, what is it doing? Okay, well, let me see uh, what I could do here. All right, let's see what's going on. Angle base. Sorry about that, people. I don't know what it's doing. It's thinking again too much. try this one more time and we'll just skip that spot that part sorry we'll try it and figure it out all right let's try this all right and we're going to try it one more time and then we will skip it and move on
All right, I got this one. Okay. Here we go. All right. Put the race eight. All right, they're seeing that the early pace is three, two, five, six, eight. And even the four and one is right there. See, like I said, there's a lot of speed in this race. <clears throat> um, they're seeing it at the midway pack, two, three, four, eight again. Um, probably so. I definitely see that. Um, the one I think is going to still be right there, real close. They see it at the final five, three, two, six, eight. And the percentage is a 41, 32, nine. Eight, six, and two. I personally like the three, one, five, two. I think the one has enough in there to stick around for second. And I guess it's it's kind of a hope, too, a little bit. But I think it has enough talent there because it's going to be forced to move along with them. And Luis Saez, last time, this horse did a lot of great things for him. So uh, why not? Let's just do that. And... Um, Let's see what it looks like. But the, I think that horse has a shot at 20 to 1 to 1 for throwing it for the exactest tries, whatever. Um, if you want to look at um, true odds, they do say the 5 should be 7 to 5. It's 2 to 1. You're probably going to get close to uh, 2 to 1. Uh, the 3 probably be very close to 9 to 5. So there you have it. I mean, I think it's going to be very close between those horses. I do think it's a uh, more wide open race than just easy one, two. That's it. Uh, I think it's a little bit more wide open than that. Uh, so now we're going to go to that 10th race and we're going to check that out on the form part. There we go. <clears throat> This is on a mile and eighth on the turf, three-year-olds and up. Um, here is an interesting race. Um, this horse, the one horse, let's start with this horse. This horse uh, ran, oh, let's go two races back, Kentucky Downs. Remember I told you, if you're within three lengths of the leader, you're going to throw a bad race the next time out. Well, do a bad race, right? Last time out, mile and a half on the turf. Now... It's been that was since September the 28th, where in November, what it's going to be the 9th when they run this race. That's a good little time of rest. This horse needed it because um, that took a lot out of, out, out of him. Uh, here's the race lens angle. Third race after a layoff, looking for improvement. So am I. I'm looking for that improvement. Uh, horse shipping into a track wins in multiple circuits. I think that's all great angles. I think this horse has got a lot of talent. I think this horse could up, make up for the last two times that, that he ran. The time before that, you look at that, he just lost by three quarters of a length and a grade two. I think this horse is, could be right there. Luis Saez again gets another hot horse. <clears throat> um, Michael Maker is the trainer. He's doing it very well, especially with turf runners. He always does. <clears throat> and then um, this horse is seven to two, probably deserving. You know, deserves that odds right around there. I don't think he'll be the favorite. Uh, the early pace, this horse looks like they they're saying he's going to do a one hundred nine, one hundred three in the middle, and one hundred two, pretty even overall. If you think about it, is this horse a player? Yes, is he a major player? One hundred percent a major player. Um, I think this is one of the major players for the win column, 100%. The two. Now, this horse has been doing pretty decent every race. Just, you know, picking up checks, third, second, third, second. I mean, let's go off of that pattern. So now you're looking at third again, right? I mean, when is the win is the, the big question. And the horse ran off three wins way back in the twenty in December of twenty three and February the twenty fourth. So and since then, this horse hasn't really done much other than the last four races: win third, second, third, second, third. Right. Um, for me, I need to see a little bit more from this horse. I just don't know if this horse is up to this uh, type of race with these type of horses. Can this horse do some kind of damage? Maybe at best on the super or, you know, try at best. But I think that's reaching a little bit for this horse. I'm going to take a seat back personally. 
And that's how I see that. Now, the three in this race, last time out, ran a very even race. Third, third, second, third, and always within a length or two lengths of the, of the leader all the time. The time before that did not run well at Kentucky Downs. So remember, if you don't run well, you have a shot of doing something pretty decent your next time out. And this horse did do something pretty decent around third, but only lost by two lengths, which is pretty good. Um, trainer, I've always told I've been telling you, Beckman's going to be coming around. Uh, this horse, I think, has a shot at a piece of this pie. I don't know about for the win. I'm not going to say win, but I do think it's maybe exact, but more on the trifecta part of it. I think this horse has a shot at that 100% shot. Um, you look at this horse, 103, 105, 109, just like the other, like the one horse, pretty even overall. Horse is going to be right there in the thick of things. So I think this horse is definitely a play and part of that tries and, and supers. The four. This horse uh, last time ran a heck of a race. If you, if you watch that video, this horse ran ran very, very well. Um, just got caught type of thing. Um, it was one of those things. The time before that was at Kentucky Downs. Here's a horse that ran fourth, two and a quarter lengths back at Kentucky Downs and came back and almost won. But guess what? Still didn't win. My theory, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Every year, watch next year. Kentucky Downs, three lengths or better to the winner. You do not do well. You will not win your next race out. If it's less than that, then that, that whole theory after that is all over with. After that. Uh, <clears throat> this horse has a major shot here. Tyler Gaffleon, Brendan Walsh is the trainer. Got to like that. Um, there's a lot of things I like about this horse. Horse is going to be sitting really close. I think this horse is more of a mid-pack come from behind her. Um, this horse is definitely a major player, a major player for the win column. I'm going to tell you right now, this is a major player for that win column. This is a uh, one that you definitely got to keep your eye on, three to one. Um, the horse runs a 95, 99. There's projecting um, late pace is 113. So see, the horse does a good kick. As long as he... He stays close enough to those leaders. This horse will be extremely dangerous. So definitely a major play. The five is one of your speed horses in this race. Last time out, just coughed it up at the end. Time before that, just couldn't quite do it at Indiana. And then there was that Santa Anita, excuse me, didn't do well the last two times before that. So. This horse uh, has some speed. I just don't know about this, you know, this class. Great breeding. The horse is bred fantastic. Um, screams, you know, turf. Screams, you know, everything. A stakes race and all that stuff. Um, the horses just haven't quite lived up to the breeding part of it, I guess. Uh, Florent is uh, riding. He's riding for uh, Philip D'Amato. He, he gets his share of winners, especially on the turf, always on the turf. And so a 12 to 1, if you want to take a shot at someone probably stealing the race, this might be the one that might steal the race. They have to let him go, though. This horse has to have it easy, though, on the front. Right now, I'm not going to predict that. I'm going to say I'm taking a step back. Um, I think this horse is at best in the supers because he might go out there and lead for a while and drop back. And maybe hang around for a piece of the pie. But for me, uh, not for my money. The six, last time out, another one that just coughed it all up in, in, in Canada. Time before that ran pretty pretty doggone good, you know. Um, wore all those horses down at the end. Just had so, was so game. Safi's the trainer. Um, been traveling this horse. It's obvious. He's been taking it to Mammoth, um, up to Canada. And of course, Golf Spring Park. Uh, this horse has got some talent, but for me, I'm going to take a seat back because I just don't know if it has this kind of talent. I think there's that other speed horse, the five, that's going to go out in front. This one's kind of likes that early pressure type. Um, I just don't know if this one could keep up to that horse. 
So I'm just going to just say no to it for myself personally. Um, and that's what I'm going to say. The seven. This, this other horse here, this horse is uh, Joe Sharp and Hernandez is the jockey. Another horse that is kind of a early pressure type speed horse. This one could be the question mark against the five going out front. This one is, I think, is the one that's going to keep him honest or vice versa. The five is going to keep him honest. Um, Joe Sharp is an excellent trainer. He always gets his horses ready all the time. So don't really ever turn your back on him. Um, and you already know about Brian Hernandez. Um, he's top jock, 12 to 1 here on a horse. The riding style is uh, 95, 96, 108. So the horse picks it up, goes faster and faster as he goes. I think he's the danger out there for uh, all the come from behinders or, or pace horses. Don't let this one get away either. Uh, but for me, I think this is more on the supers or uh, tries. I, I think there's enough pace here where it sets it up for a couple of the horses, which we've already gone over. Uh, the eight. Um, here's a horse. Very interesting. A pressure type horse. This one always likes to sit extremely close to the leaders. I just don't know. If there's, I mean, there's so much like that, so many horses like that. Would this horse be in there for that? Um, horse won last time as a favorite, which is an excellent lay. He's already won three three in a row. Can he make it four in a row? Um, I do like horses that put them all together. Um, this, this, this is the now horse. Uh, but for me in this race, I'm going to think more on the supers, the tries, I think there's other horses that could pick this horse up and lay, you know, pass this horse down the lane. Uh, but I could be wrong, but I think this is one of them that will be coming back right at the end. Uh, we'll be up there in the beginning and be very close, if not on the lead, but very close to the leaders on the beginning. Here's another horse that has uh, decent speed, but I think this is definitely a more of a pressure horse than a speed horse when it comes to this. Um, the distance is my question for this horse. Um, Steve is training, so can't knock anything in that in that area. And the jockey, you know, Morale, uh, Morales is definitely fine. Uh, he did not run well last time out. Fin you know, just ran a very even race, but kind of a blase type of run for this type of horse. So for me, is this horse on the downswing? Um, that's probably more my question on it. Uh, maybe this horse might need a little rest. I don't know. But uh, I think this horse is going to have to pick it up to do some damage. Does he have talent? Yes. But right now, I just don't think he's the it horse. Tin. Um, here's an interesting horse. Um, last time out, didn't do so hot, but didn't run too bad. Um, finished seventh, four lengths behind. Um, you, the time before that, just finished second, closing pretty good. You got Mike Smith aboard again. Come, you know, he came in from California to ride some of these horses, especially for Safi. Um, for me, I think this horse has got some talent. I think this horse could do some kind of damage. This is a come from behinder, and with this kind of speed that's in this race and the pace horses that are in this race, kind of does set up a lot, a lot for this this horse and maybe two others. That could sit probably closer, but this one will be coming from behind, uh, from what we would call the clouds. Um, this is your major come from behinder. My question is, can he get up in time? I, I have a couple other horses I think would be a little closer that could close very well, but this is a major, major, major player for the win. I would not be shocked at all, so I would definitely say for the win, you got to make it a major player. So, uh, there's a couple of major players like that, right? We I've had like three of them like that. So look out there. I think this horse could uh, do some serious damage. And let's see what Echo Base comes up with at their pace scenario. Um, okay, let me see. There it is. All right. So they say the one, five, three. 9, 2, 10-ish are all going to go up there to the front. They have the best chance to go to the front or 
pressure. Um, I definitely see that. I don't know if the one will take the lead. It depends how he he breaks. He's on the rail, so if he breaks good, he's going to have to go. If he breaks, let's just say okay with everybody else, he might let somebody come over and let him get in front of him a little bit as long as he can have that rail and keep that rail to save a little ground. He might do that. Um, see, that's there's there's a lot of different things when it comes to racing. The jockey's got to think of a lot of things. You break great and you're on the rail, um, you're going to have to kind of go. Um, you can't just drop back because once you drop back, you're trapped. Um, and if you have outside speed, you kind of have to break good. You have to. So there you have it. Um, so mid-pack, they're going to have it. They're thinking it's 5, 3, 1, 10. Mm, I think the one would be really close to that. I think that would be pretty close. The one might be second, but I mean, I think it's close. And then they have the finish. Uh, 1, 10, 4, 9, 7, and the percentages are 29, 17, 12, 9, and 8. Um, I personally have 1, 4, 10, 3. Kind of like that 3 a little bit. They hang in there for a piece of that pie. Um, here's your true odds. They got the 1, 2 to 1, 7 to 2. Probably will be around, a clo around close to 2 to 1. You got the 7 to 10 to 1. You got 12 to 1 morning line. Okay, not too bad. The 9 and then 9 to 1 at uh, 12 to 1 on the 9. Okay. So there's your true odds. Remember, if you uh, buy uh, race lens, you follow this every time. Follow it during the while they're running, you know, running these races, you know, because let me tell you, it's kind of like you kind of have to um, – Follow that because those true odds will change constantly. And, you know, you might change your mind on a horse or two that you're looking at. Okay. All right. So now uh, let's see if we could do something here at Churchill Downs. Um, hopefully we could do a pick five and uh, get over the Breeders' Cup blues or withdrawals or whatever you have out there. Like I said, I ended up doing pretty good on Saturday overall. Not fantastic. Not great. But I did um, save myself on Saturday in the Breeders' Cup. And so here I have my Kentucky Downs. Here are the two races. Uh, and the pick five starts in the seventh race. I do have in the seventh race uh, the five, six, one, nine, the trifecta. I'm just doing a trifecta box. I'm not playing around. I'm just going to start there to try to win a little bit of the money back there. And then the pick five, I'm going to course do those first four horses five six one nine and i'm throwing in the 10 also in that race so i'm going five deep in that the second leg which is the eighth race i'm going three one five two my top four picks um the third leg which is the ninth race i'm going five deep again eight two one three then nine and then the tenth race i'm going four deep again one four ten three and then I'm singling the last race. It's crazy, but you know what? It's it's crazy also sometimes to single the first race. I personally rather single the first race if I really had a choice. And the reasons are if you lose that one, you still got a pick four there. You can come back and uh, do some adjusting and play a pick four or something like that to try to make your money back or whatever. Here you got... If you're going four deep and you're in four and you need one more winner, you only got one horse that you could count on. So, but it's my best bet of the day for the day at Churchill Downs. So I have to feel good about my singles. Um, I really do like when I play singles, I feel good about them. I mean, don't play singles if you don't feel good about it. Uh, race eight, uh, I like the three, one, five, two, as you, like, you see in my pick five, but I want to just play a Zach, the three on top of the one. The ninth race, I like eight, two, one, three. I do like the try eight, two, of course, with the eight, two, one, three, nine, and then with the eight, two, one, three, nine again. Uh, the tenth race, I do uh, like uh, the one, four, ten, three. We just finished talking about that race. Um, it's pretty good race. It's really nice race, but if you know, in that pick five, I did take all four horses, but I am going to play it pretty strong with my one. One on top of the four for my exacta. 
and the 10. I'm putting the 10 in there too. But then I'm playing a daily double, just 1-1. One, one. Why not? Let's go for it. Let's do it. Uh, of course, with my 11th race, a 1-3-2-10. I'll play the exact of 1-3, but I'm playing that one uh, win only on there. So um, I'm going for it there. And that's what I, I'm playing at Churchill Downs. Now, with that all being said, I am going to say that uh, the races there uh, on Saturday are pretty uh, open overall. But I, like I said, I really do like that one in the 11th. I'm going to go for it, and uh, that's the only way I'm going to play it. Uh, one more time, I want to thank Race Lens for uh, all the equipment, that the, the tools that we have for this show. Remember another thing, once again, if you're going to a sale or you need to buy a horse, you want to claim a horse, you've got questions about anything, shoot me an email. Um, everyone's been doing it. Shoot that email right there. Um, Charles at PassTheWire.com. I'll answer your questions. And then um, one more time, you definitely want to subscribe down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell there. You will get all the alerts of all our shows and everything. So once again, let's go out there and get that pick five. Let's get some winners. Got any more questions? Once again, send me that email, and I'll see you guys next week, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.